know nothing so so I had to go through all that and now I am now I am back and by request I'm going to be going over uh, Makoto versus Yun uh, matchup covers today I'm from from Makoto's uh, point of view I got this request from a from a Brazilian player FS from Brazil um, he actually he entered the uh, the Brazilian qualifier, uh, the one that Tokido went to, and he actually played him. And apparently, he said that. Apparently, he said that um, that that my tutorials actually helped him against Tokido, but he's actually he's actually more comfortable with Chun Li than he is with Yun. So he asked me to go over Makoto versus Yun for today, which I am going to do right now. And anything else that you know somebody comes across like any other matchup coverages that they want to do then I'll probably go over that too but um yeah so let me just jump right into this uh so anyways uh Makoto versus Yun obviously when it comes to picking Makoto you have the two supers you have the first one and the second one um for the most part you can pick the second one against anybody I mean you could pick the second one against Yun or Yang or any other character because of the 100% but since it's a lot harder to connect that like in tournament play um, I tend to stick with the first one when it comes to weaker characters so for example like the female characters and Yan Yang and Oro I tend to pick the first one because it's a lot easier to connect the the super the first super than it is with the than it is with the others so so for now we're gonna be using this one and yeah, I'm obviously we can Asian. Now Now the whole thing with Makoto, obviously it's Makoto so she has a couple basic options. You know, she has her mix ups with her with her low shore Hayate. Uh standing strong, low forward, uh standing fierce, uh her command grab and her regular grab. Now all this stuff, you know, you you tend to apply on the ground game. You know, after a knockdown, you want to keep it mixed up with either this, 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 or anything else, just to keep them pressured. Now the whole point of that is, you know, to make sure that they don't begin their air game. That's basically where where Yun he excels. Because once you let him escape, he's going to be able to build meter for Ganesian. So, for example, the first knockdown that you get is really crucial because if he manages to escape even once or gets a lucky parry, he'll be able to knock you down or or be free to escape and start building meter for his Ganesian. And that's that's where the biggest problem comes from. You know, in, in any in any Yun matchup, that's the biggest problem because of Ganesian. So once you eliminate that, you'll you'll realize that this matchup isn't as hard as it seems but a couple of things to keep in mind is uh, the basic anti-airs um, the basic anti-airs that you want to keep in mind obviously standing forward uh, jump forward jump jump roundhouse jump back fierce uh, standing standing strong but for the most part, these are the only ones that you want to use, like, you know, in case they do a normal jump in. When it comes to dive kicks, you really have to be aggressive and not really just stand there and take it, unless, it <laughs> unless, um, unless you're you're really confident in trying to parry, parry their dive kicks and command grab afterwards. So, for example, if you see if you see somebody trying to dive kick at you a lot, that's just the basic option that you want to do. Or that, or standing fierce into EX Hayate, or just mm, or mix up from behind and just do whatever you want. But this is the basic starter for everything. Once you get once you get a parry for a dive kick, you can always go into the command grab and get a free combo from that. Uh, 
and then from there you have a mix up as it is. Now the key point in this matchup too is to realize how fast Young can get up. Obviously he can he has the quickest wake up in the game compared to you know compared to Yang or, or Dudley. So when you keep that in mind you also have to remember that if you slow down at any point when you're when you're rushing him down, you'll give him the chance to escape. So this is where everything starts. Already that's that's half that's half stun bar. And you get the free mix up afterwards. That's actually another thing that you can do too. If if you realize that somebody's tending to dive kick you, like every every so often, like like one dive kick and then another, you can anti air them with that with the fukiyage and then just do a, a straight up jump neutral fierce. And that's about like 70% of their stun bar. From there, you can just you can just keep keep your distance at this point. From here, if they dive kick at you from max distance, you can always command grab, buffer parry, and then command grab like that. If they if they tend to do a short dive kick, you can just do uh, probably from this distance. If they do a short dive kick, you can either walk up and do standing forward, uh, walk up or do low strong, or walk up and do low roundhouse, low fierce. Excuse me. And from there, you can just. You know, either continue your mix-up from there by doing Hayate fakes, or just keep your distance at this point and wait until they dive kick in front of you, and then just catch them right there. There's a couple ways you can go about this matchup. I mean, you can either rush them down, or wait for them to come to you, like that. And then from there, you can just... You can just do whatever you want from there. But the way th the way that I tend to play is by rushing them down, like you know, no matter what. Sometimes in in certain situations, like like if they tend to play really defensive, I'll just wait for them and just you know, at this point I would wait for them and wait for them to dive kick in front of me or just or just jump because if they if the moment they jump, you can easily anti them with anything. So there's that, and one of the key things to know also is the fact that obviously the three the three Karakusas Karakus have different startups. So you know, round, Roundhouse has the most range. Short has the quickest startup but the least range, and Forward has you know half and half. But for the most part, depending on the situation, like in this one, you want to do short. Now after a knockdown, depending on what you do, you can mix up whatever. For the most part, on their on their wake up, they're probably gonna try and either press a button or jump back. This is this is at you know the most basic high level play. They're always going to either buffer a parry and then jump back, or just press low short and try to you know stop your rush down, or even jump jump in and dive kick. So for example like right here they're probably gonna jump back at this at this point. So making sure you, you time your wake up perfectly is what matters because you can see that as soon as you get the stun, that's 
practically the game as it is because all you need to do is just any basic you know setup or any any normal and it'll kill him so for starters uh, obviously you have to know your distances that's the most important part so you know max range low strong max range low low fierce uh, max range low forward max range uh, standing strong which you can also hit confirm into super which does a, a ton of damage uh, also uh, carrot command grab also works too As you can see from this distance, I would do a short command grab and it wouldn't work. So you also have to know your distances in, in terms of doing the command grabs too. Where's So also having little setups like this, like standing strong, low short, walk back a little, and then uh, carry command grab would be a, a really useful setup. So you can just start from here and continue this setup again on the next wake up and wait to see what they do. If they jump, then you know you obviously jump, jump roundhouse or jump fierce, or even just stand there and wait for them to dive kick and then parry and then command grab. It's really, it's a really basic, you know gameplay when it comes to this matchup so just knowing the basic options will really you know come a long way uh so now mm, okay another thing also is to know what's what's the safest move the safest buffer to parry the, the safest like Parry to buffer, excuse me, that you can use at a certain distance. So, for example, um, if you do like a setup, like um, what's a setup like? So, for example, uh, low sh low short Hayate. For the most part, what would beat that is a standing standing short from Yun or Yang because it has a a three frame startup, I think, and command grabs tend to start up at at five frames. So obviously the obviously the three frame startup would beat it. So a thing to do after a low short Hayate as a safe as a safety precaution would be to buffer a parry. Either forward or down, for the most part you would want to parry down. Uh, because most of the stuff that Yun has can be parried down, like his jab, his low short, standing short. Uh, so that's one of the things that you would really wanna do. And then after that, you know, command grab. Or even just do whatever whatever else you wanna do, like standing like standing strong so um another another cho another key distance is at this at this point right here so for example if you were to do a uh, low strong Hayate fake for the most part, at this distance, they would either jump and do dive kick, where you can buffer a parry, or do low forward. For the most part, in my experience, what I've seen is that a lot of players tend to do uh, jump into dive kick. So just so if you do a Hayate fake like this, I would just keep on doing it, and then mix it up with low fierce if they don't do anything, or just mix it up with standing forward. Either that, or just wait for them to jump, and then parry, and then command grab. And that's a free combo right there. So, uh, at this point, um, you can do like, uh, low forward, and for the most part, they would do the same thing, like jump dive kick, or low forward. So these are the kind of things that you have to keep in mind if you want to, you know, make sure you want to get the most, the most out of your rushdown. 
So you have to know when to buffer a parry and when to punish. So for example, a low forward at this distance, you can't really do much. The most you'll be able to do is low strong into a uh, into Hayate. Or just play the footsie game. Or even just buffer Hayate to, uh, to punish the whiff poke. Which is actually a really helpful thing too that I'll get into later, but for the most part... So obviously you can't do anything else after that. also do standing short into Hayate too. So the most important key the most important thing to keep in mind in this matchup too is you also want to be be able to get as close as you can to, to Yun to do the most the most damage and the biggest mix up that you can do. So in this situation the best thing to do would be low strong fierce Hayate. That gets you the closest, that gets you the biggest rush down and the most damage. Now you can also do like low strong into super but that's only as like you know as a as a killing as a killing move like look at how much damage that does you know so if you unless you're sure you get to get that parry and the super you would you would want to go into low strong into super um, aside from aside from that you really have to just make sure that you know you keep them out of Ganagen the moment they have Ganagen then the, the best thing that you can do is just block because the the biggest like Makoto has a, a has a a lot of juggle like like she can be juggled like really really good you know when it comes to playing when it comes to playing Yun during an agent so the biggest the biggest thing to worry about is to know when to block when it comes to being an agent for example if if they're in an agent like this and they're just you know pressuring you like this and you're getting scared and then they walk up and they do uh, standing forward they can go into low strong uh, dragon kicks and that's about like that's about like a quarter of a meter maybe even half and that's that's really really bad because after that they can just do like three low strongs or two low strongs into command grab into low strong dragon kicks and then that's that's Ganagian right there so that's one of the things to keep in mind when you know you're you're getting pressured. You don't really want to like keep on pressing buttons or keep on trying to rush down. You have to make sure that you know when to block. So, for example, on the ground game, after Ganagen, you really don't want to press anything. You also have to make sure that you watch their meter. So, if somebody activates like from here, don't press anything. They're most likely gonna try and, and they're most likely gonna try and you know get you shaken up and try to try to open you up by doing just like standing strong, low, short, and pressuring you. And if they're at this distance, you don't have to worry about anything because command grab won't won't do anything, standing forward won't do anything, and anything else is just something that you can block. So this is just the basic stuff that anybody can do versus Ganagen because you know a lot of people like they see Ganagen and then they're like they're like oh shit like what do I do? But you know you you have to keep in mind of how much meter they have and how how big of the distance it is between the two characters. So for example like right here just block. If they keep it going they have no they have no more meters so you don't have to, anything to worry about 
And for the most part, if they're like running out of meter and they get they get you with a command grab, you still don't have anything to worry about because of the get, of the damage scaling. So like right here, that's that's nothing. So from there, you know you're you're safe. You're you don't have to worry about an agent for at least another another good like five game seconds, which is good enough for you to you know to get your placing back and to continue your rush down again. But like I said, the most important part is to keep your is to know what distance to be at. So right here, say for example, this is after Ganagen. You're right here. For the most part, they're gonna either dive kick in your face or dive kick right on top of you. So from there, you can buffer parry and do standing jab or something into into a mix up or whatever you want to do. It depends on on how on how good you are with you know your Hayate face because that really comes in comes into play. So the key things to keep in mind as I went as I went over before uh, the spacing. Know the max ranges for all of your moves, so you can so you can pressure properly. And another thing is to make sure you stay you stay in this position. Right here, a low forward might hit you, but for the most part, it won't. It, it'll barely connect with the with the dash punch. If you're crouching, it, it probably won't connect. Uh, let me just see really quick. Yeah. So if you're crouching from this distance, it won't it won't really do anything. From max range low forward, it it won't hit if you're crouching. So if from at this distance you're free to buffer parry low. And then just do whatever you want. So for even even if it hits you, you don't really have to worry about it. So from here, as long as you're crouching, you'll be fine. So you can just keep them out with, you know, low strong and do whatever. And aside from that, you just have to make sure you know, like, what moves are good for stopping jumps. Like, uh, her, her EX Odoshi can, can really stop, like, a lot of jumps. So say if they're in the beginning animations, if they're jumped, uh, the, the Orochi will beat it out and it'll stop them from jumping. So it's one of the better mix-ups to use. Like for example, if you're doing like low short, uh, low short Hayate, you can do EX Orochi to to stop them from doing anything. So even if they parry, you're still you'll probably still have the, those crouching frames. And you know if it's max range, you you don't have to worry about anything. So. Obviously, as I said before, if they do low forward into dash punch, it'll miss. So there's that, and also, you know, don't be afraid to to try and anticipate their jumps because a lot of young players, when they get scared, you'll see them that they'll start to jump. So the moment you catch them with the with the ex with the ex Hayate or or whatever, um, you know, you make sure you dominate the ground game so they can jump. Well, as soon as they start jumping, that's all. That's the game is Makoto's for there, from there. Especially with her her jump fierce, it covers a lot of range and a lot of space. So if they jump, you can you can really stuff them out, especially out of dive kicks. You know when even if you do jump back fierce, it'll stop the dive kick. Uh, so you know make sure you you know your rush down. And 
and know your, know your spacings, know your setups, and you know, as soon as you force Yeon to start jumping, and as soon as you start adjusting to the dive kicks that they do, then this matches all Makoto's. Because one parry, or one guess, and you can hit confirm into, into super. Or just hit confirm, or just like parry and then, and then buffer parry into command grab and that's a free, that's a, that's a free combo right there. So always when you buffer a parry, if you have super, you recognize it and then you, you know, you hit confirm into super. If they're close, you command grab. If they're not close, then, you know, you do the next best thing, like low strong high effort. Or or sweep even better because you have the you have the reset right there, so you can do whatever you want. Now, if they start guessing on you, obviously you can just do simple things like like low short dash up grab. Her her dash up grab is one of the best in the game because you know her dash is really fast and you know her grab it sets you up right there for for pretty much anything. So, it's one of the key things to keep in mind as well. Aside from that, as soon as you dominate everything else, uh, as soon as you dominate the air game and dominate the ground game, this match is yours. So, you know, during an agent, obviously you block, and during everything else, don't be afraid to buffer a parry into command grab. Because her command grab is really fast, so a lot of things won't really, won't really beat it. So for example, if they were to do a uh, dive kick into low strong dash punch, a command grab will beat it. Or even just command grab on reaction to the to the dive kick, and I'll take it out too. You can trade it from there. Max max range, obviously the standing strong beats it. Go forward, and you can actually. Kick him and just I think it has to be closer though. Like that. You can you can link low forward into super and it will connect. So little things like this is what's gonna make all the difference in, in this matchup. So you know for any other players that, that wanna you know that are wondering about this matchup and wondering what to do. As long as you don't get rushed down by Yun in terms of like getting caught with command grab or getting caught with an agent, then you're fine. So basically anywhere outside of the corner in this in this matchup is what Makoto dominates at. So from this from any distance, she should she should be the one to control the space, not Yun. So once you do that, you don't really have to worry about anything except for Ganagent. And even then, even if he activates from full screen, you can just dash back really quick and use her, use her um, Suruki to, to get out of there because it gives you extra extra distance. But for the most part, I would recommend to just super jump since you can parry in between. So that's that's that point. Now another thing to do, obviously, would be the the Surugi, but I don't really I don't really you know. I don't really think about using it that much because for the most part, you know, you have other things to deal with the the dive kick. But for the most part, if you're if you're wondering about like, you know, if they're jumping and you anticipate it, you definitely you definitely can use a uh, Sudugi to to stuff it out and then go into the whatever combo you want afterwards. So for example like this, if they're jumping and you do If they're jumping and you do Sudugi like in the middle of their jump, you can put them right in the corner right there. And another thing too, you have to recognize, you know, the anti airs. Don't be afraid to Fugiyage from time to time, especially when you're anticipating a, a dive kick, because it will really it'll stuff it out perfectly. So if they're jumping like right on top of you. For the most part, they're gonna look for a dive kick, so don't be afraid to Fukiyage right there. It'll, it'll, it will hit, and it will do at least 50% stun if you catch them with the full, with the full stun, with the full uh, combo like that. So there's that. 
EX Fukiyagi is another one that you can use, but you know, don't really don't don't abuse it as much as you know you think you can. So jump back forward is another one. Jump back roundhouse and jump back fierce. And that's pretty much it. You know, once you know the spacing for for Makoto's moves compared to Yun, and once you once you take him out of the air, this matchup is all yours. So, you know, just make sure you you know when to buffer a parry into command grab, buffer a parry into any follow up. You know, you have to recognize when to when to anti air, and uh, you have to recognize you know when to when to just stand still and just wait for him to come to you because for the most part they're going to come to you eventually especially with an agent so if you keep all this in mind just keep it basic and simple you'll come out on top easily no fancy stuff no crazy setups to do just keep it simple with something like this and this matchup is yours And I could I could go into more specific things with with this matchup, but you know it's there's really there's really nothing else to it. Like you know there's really nothing else to do because it's that simple. Because it's Makoto, you know she can be random and she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> So that's it for this coverage. Um, if there's any other questions for like for Makoto versus Yun, obviously you can you can message me on any one of these uh, on any one of the three uh, you know outlets that I have down here, you know Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. So if there's any other questions, you can feel free to, to message me there. But for now.